big news, Microsoft has decided, and I don't know why, but their emphasis from now on will be on Connect development for the most part. They will no longer really be putting a lot of emphasis into first party title support, which means Gears of War and Halo, that's pretty much going to be all the major players for the next gen console for those guys, which means they're going to be heavily dependent on third party companies and lots of multi plots. Now, <clears throat> if you've been following the PMK reporters, we did a series on what we think Sony should do. Now I decided, you know, it wouldn't be fair to leave out Microsoft. But this one's going to be a little more outlandish. And reason being, the company itself is Microsoft. The expectation should be a little higher for these guys. And I know that may not sound fair, but we'll, get, we'll go into detail about why. I feel this way. So, let's get started. First thing, let's take a look at. What do we know about the company Microsoft as a whole? They are a software giant, an old school software giant built upon a foundation of old money. Very little innovation is coming out of the company these days on the PC side of the spectrum. However, here recently, until the Kinect, Microsoft had continually to be on a downward trend. Even at this year's CES, Essentially, Microsoft will no longer be there just for the simple fact they no longer compete with innovation. Red Ocean Strategy. Unfortunately, it's a bad habit that these guys have. However, if I am Microsoft, let's break it down a little bit. Let's expand our horizons. And this is what I think they should do. What do we know about Microsoft? Proprietary software company, right? But what is the advantage that these guys have from Sony and even Nintendo? A clear advantage that if these guys would just take advantage of it, even for just a little bit, it would change everything. Let's bring up Apple for a minute. The power of Apple is the App Store. Even Nintendo's headed in that direction. So if you want to compete in the next gen, Microsoft's going to need really the equivalent, and I know they've got their Xbox Live experience in their so-called App Store, but they need a genuine App Store that supports applications to the level of what Apple's doing. First thing, if you want to compete, you might as well compete in all areas. And if you are going to follow Red Ocean strategy, you need to exceed the other companies in these areas. So first thing you need to do is you need to bring applications available to everyone across the platform. Second thing you need to do, 720 must, and this part to me is a must, set themselves apart in a small, minute way from the other console makers. If you're not going to specialize in first party titles, you still need something to distinguish you from the rest of the pack. Some of you may be saying, how do you plan on achieving this goal? And that's pretty simple. What could Microsoft offer to the table that no one else could do? That's right, Windows. It only makes sense to start using Windows in your gaming console. And, if, and the direction that they're headed seems to be that way anyway. Windows ain't integration into the Xbox Live experience. But however, my thoughts are, take it a step further. We all know that more than likely that the system is going to have let's just guess, at least, let's hope a terabyte hard drive, or at least 500 gigs. I say you throw in a terabyte hard drive, you patrician the drive, and guess what? You've got half of it patrician for Windows 8, and the other half patrician for the typical Xbox dashboard. Meaning, and I'm just going to throw this out there, guys, and don't shoot me up. What's to keep Microsoft from creating a box that can support console games as well as PC games. What's to prevent that? You see, if Alienware can produce a set-top form factor box that's small, somewhat powerful to play decent ranged PC games, why can't Microsoft follow suit and have the best of both worlds? These guys would have the only <laughs> and I don't even know if I'd want to call it a console. I'll call it what we all hate to hear across YouTube. 
a hybrid machine capable of console gameplay as well as PC gameplay. What a thought. What other company besides Microsoft could possibly pull this off? The best of both worlds. Has such a thing ever happened before? And if you look at the PC side, will it hurt the PC gamer platform? Of course not. Bring in new people in. Will it help the console side? Will it hurt the console gamers? Will it hurt their sales? Of course not. Now, the only thing that could get a little gray is your Call of Duties on the different platforms, whether it be the PC platform or the console platform. And if they could truly ever find a way to integrate those areas with a little bit of red tape, I might add, that would set them apart definitely. Maybe they could somehow manage to have the integration across console as well as PC platform with certain titles. Microsoft is certainly a big enough player that they could manage that with the Xbox 720. You see, if you're going to maintain the power of Kinect, Kinect is, is a nice piece of software, but go further. Why not create the ultimate set-top box that just does everything? The PS3 claimed to be the ultimate media device that does everything, but this would truly be a hybrid device well ahead of its time that does everything. And who would benefit from all this licensure cash cow? It would be Microsoft. You incorporate a decent, respectable app store on par with Apple. You create a hybrid machine capable of playing Windows as well as Xbox Live, as well as the typical Xbox game, and then you market it at a price, and you may have to undercut it just a hair, but you're a software company. You can take the cut on the software side, as well as on the hardware side. If the Alienware can produce that machine and sell it for $6.99, Microsoft can afford to sell that same machine, maybe tweak down some of the specs to a certain extent. Well, no. To perform Windows, it would probably have to be on par. They could get away with a system that could easily run $500. That's a far-fetched idea, I know. But just think of the possibilities, the what-ifs. What if this were possible? And it doesn't have to be to the extreme that I'm, that I'm portraying. But allow some form of integration between console games and PC games to where the consumer can purchase the one device that will satisfy all their needs. With the power of Xbox Live anyway, it would be an appropriate platform to have this type of integration. Your fan base is already established. Go a step further and incorporate the PC gamer community into the entire Xbox Live experience. far-fetched ideal, but it's one that I would welcome. Again, if you're not going to be a company that competes with innovation, and in itself, this ideal, it's, re it's innovative in the fact that it would, they would be the first one to ever do such a thing. However, it's basic Red Ocean strategy, taking the best of what everyone else is doing currently at this moment in time and putting it all together. Apple seems to be a fan of doing that and reinventing the industry as a whole each time they attempt such a thing. I would dare say, is it not time for Microsoft to follow suit? They're a very, very, very old company, well established, and they've been around for long periods of time, but the company is seriously lacking innovation, and not only are they lacking innovation, they're starting to become an old relic of the past. They've got to reinvent themselves. This could potentially be one way to do it. The set-top box that belongs in the living room. Windows 8 is already being integrated into Connect anyway. That's why I say, again, take it a step further and create the ultimate seamless integration between Windows 8, Xbox Live Dash, and the Xbox Live community. These are just my thoughts. They may be a little far out there, but... If you are Microsoft, you shouldn't, and I'll just be nice, if you sit on your hands and do nothing at some point, whether it's Nintendo or even Sony, 
they are bound to overtake you at some point if you do nothing but sit on your hands. Microsoft needs innovation. This is probably by far the best platform they have going for the company as itself. Windows Phone integration would have a step further. Well, I shouldn't say have a step further. Would go a step further into achieving their goal if there was a box to integrate everything. The complete experience. Apple's model is already proven. That's a very efficient way to do things. It would only make sense if Windows would incorporate some of the same ideals. If you are a company that specializes in red ocean strategy, this is the route that you should take. These are just my thoughts again. See you later. Peace.